Generations after generations, praising you, there's no one sounds you and I ask the Lord, Generations after generations, praising you, yet no one sounds you. And ask the Lord, what names meet me? In Sadia. Hello, God. Yahweh, that thing you say. You are the Hello, God. Yahweh, that thing you say. You are the only one, Yahweh, that in the Zion. You are the hallowed one, mm -mm -mm -mm. Yahweh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You are the hallowed one. You are the holy one, Yahweh, the King of Zion. You are the holy one, mm -hmm. Yahweh, the King of Zion. Thank you, Jesus. Yahweh, Mm-hmm. 
Hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. I believe we can hear me. Yeah. Uh, God bless you. Good evening. Good evening. You are welcome to the presence of God. May the blessing of God come upon you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we give you praise this evening. We magnify your word. We thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for peace and prosperity. Thank you for your joy in our life, in our home. We give you praise. Your word is powerful. Your word is living. Let your word do that which you are sent this evening in the name of Jesus Christ. Cause your people yeah. to be blessed both speaker and the hearer, to the glory of your name. For in Jesus, our name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I will Amen. not take most of our time this evening. By the grace of God, we are going to round up in the next 45 minutes maximum. Let's open our heart, word of God. Please get your Bible ready. And if you want to take a note and pen so you can write things down. Let's open our Bible to the book of Joshua. Joshua chapter 3. And I'm going to read verse 1 to 7. I want to speak on a topic that tied to wonders on the way for you. I prophesy upon myself and you listen to me tonight, that even before this month is over, you will see the wonders of God in the name of Jesus Christ. But there is something you and I must do to see the wonders of God. We must prepare for it. And the word of God is going to show us now. That's what Joshua did. Thank God for the word of God. He said everything that is written in the word of God from Genesis to Revelation is for our learning. So if we are able to learn and to follow the word of God, there's no way we will not prosper. God gave Joshua a template for success. For example, in Joshua 1.8, God said, it's very easy for you to be successful if you can follow this. And what's the secret? Joshua 1, 8. The book of the law, which is the Bible, shall not depart from your mouth. And you shall meditate in it day and night. And by doing so, God said to Joshua, you will make your way prosperous. That was the template for success, not just success, good success. I pray for you again and myself before this year is over, even beginning from today, good success, pressing down, shaking over, Amen. shall be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So I read Joshua chapter 3 from verse 1 to 7. Then Joshua rose up early in the morning and set out from Acacia Grove and came, to, and came to Jordan, he and all the children of Israel, and lodged there before they crossed over. So it was after three days that the officials went through the camp and they commanded the people saying, 
when you see the hack of the covenant of the Lord God and the priest, the Levite, bearing it, then you shall set out from the place and go after it. Verse 4. Yet there shall be a space between you and it, about 2,000 cubits by measure. Do not come near it, that you may know the way by which you must go. For you have not passed this way before. Please pay attention to verse 5. And Joshua said to the people, sanctify yourself. Please underline that place. Sanctify yourself. For tomorrow, the Lord will do wonders among you. So shall be in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. By this time tomorrow, we we'll begin to see the wonder of God in our ministry, in our home, in our lives, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Verse 6, then Joshua spoke to the priest, saying, take up the ark of the covenant and cross over before the people. So they took up the ark of the covenant and went before the people. Verse 7, which is going to be our last verse. And the Lord said to Joshua, this day I will begin to exhort you in the sight of all Israel, that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. And the Lord bless the reading of his word in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God is the same forevermore. According to Hebrews 13 verse 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. As we know that Jesus is the word of God, according to John 14 verse 6. So the word of God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. His promises can never change. Psalm 118, Psalm 119, and verse 89. Psalm 119 and verse 89. He said the word of God is set to the heaven. It's set to it. It's a settled matter. Numbers 23, verse 19. He said, God is not a man that he cannot lie. All this must settle in our heart. Many of us will try to figure out how God will fulfill his promises, how the word of God will come to pass. You have no business with that. I have no business in how God will bring his plan to manifestation in my life. That, is, that shouldn't be my problem. That shouldn't be your worry. He's God and he's God by himself. Psalm 115 and verse 3, he said, God is in heaven. He does whatever he pleases. We shouldn't worry ourselves about that. What we should worry ourselves about is that in verse 5. As I told you to underline, Joshua said to the people, sanctify yourself. Why? Because by this time tomorrow, God is going to do great and mighty things in divine assembly ministries, in your family, in your life. God is going to do great and mighty things. I can't wait to Sunday to say this. And I want you to keep this. Beloved, new season is upon the church of God. New season is upon you. We must be prepared now spiritually because according to God's calendar, according to God's times and season, new year is about to start. start. You know, I said last week, Sunday, when we are doing our anniversary, God told me, tell your people, happy new year. New year is, is here already. The month of September, spiritually, is a new year. It's not December. So we are around the corner now. It's time to prepare. That's what God is telling me. It's time to sanctify ourselves, to set ourselves apart so we can see the glory of God. Devil will not rob us of our blessing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So in this chapter that we just read, the Israelites were comforted with Jordan. As we know, Jordan is anything that want to stop you seeing your promised land. And that's the same thing with Red Sea. 
Rasi, Mountain, Jordan, is anything that stands between you and your promised land. I pray tonight the Lord will take care of them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So they saw yes. Jordan as an obstacle. And God's people needed to cross over because that's God commanded for them, commandment for them, that it's time to move forward. And in fact, if you read that chapter to the end, Jordan was filled to the broom because it's an harvest time and they need to cross over. And Joshua did something. Joshua went to meet the Lord in prayer. Joshua could have done something. And what's that? To just get a rod and stretch it. Because Joshua was there when God used Moses to part the Red Sea. And me, for example, I could have done the same thing. And you could have done the same thing. But you don't forget that we cannot put God in a box. Because God did it this way this time, that does not mean God will do it this way another time. He is God. What we need to do is to always go back to God, to always wait upon him. Those who wait upon the Lord shall renew. What renew means something new, something that's never happened before. So God will give you new idea. And that's what God did. So Joshua went back to God, said, what are we going to do? Please give me new strategy. Please speak direction. I want to hear you. And God said, all I want you to do, tell my people and yourself, be sanctified. And this is what God is saying to us in this ministry. It's time to set ourselves apart because the wonders of God is about to manifest in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And because of our time, I'm not going to take much of our time today. <coughs> What's the meaning of sanctification? Let's open our Bible to the book of 1 Thessalonians 4 and read 1 to 8. 1 Thessalonians. If you are there, you can read for me, please. 1 Thessalonians 4. You can read 1 to 8. Okay, I'll read from here. I believe we are all there. 1 yes. Thessalonians 4. 1 to 8. Finally then, brethren, we all journey such you in the Lord Jesus, that you should abound more and more, just as you received from us, how you ought to walk and to please God. Please pay attention so you can get the meaning of sanctification. Verse 2, for you know what commandment gave you through Lord Jesus. For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you should abstain from sexual immorality, that each of you should know how to possess his own vessel in sanctification and honor, not in passion of lust like the Gentiles who do not know God, that no one should take advantage of and defraud his brother, in this manner, because the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also forewarned you and testified. For God did not call us to uncleanness, but in holiness. Therefore, he who reject this does not reject man, but God, who has also given us his Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So you and I can see the meaning of sanctification. Sanctification means to honor God. Sanctification means to please God. Sanctification means to set yourself apart for God's use. Sanctification means 
to walk only with godly people. The Lord will interpret his word to you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That Amen. is the key to see the wonders of God in this season. Amen. Divine Assembly Ministries, it's time for us to sanctify ourselves. Because by this time tomorrow, in the name that is above every other name, we will see the wonders of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In all our services, in all our activities, we will see the glory, the signs, the wonders of God, the greatness of God in our lives, in our ministry, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Remember the prophet Amen. in the book of Second King, I believe, chapter 6, Elijah. I mean, Elisha, when he prophesied that by this time tomorrow, there will be surplus. There shall be signs and wonders. Somebody said, no, it cannot be. Even if God will open the windows of heaven. Ah, the man of God said, nothing is powerful enough that can withstand the word of God. Open your Bible with me to 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. As I round up tonight, 2 Timothy Verse 2, chapter 2, and verse 9. If you are there, you can read, please. For which I suffer to the point of being bound like a criminal. God bless you. But the word of God is not bound. The word of God is not bound. That's enough. The word of God can never be changed. Nothing can stop the word of God. So I want you to go home tonight with the word of God. Nothing can stop you and I if we will sanctify ourselves. God told Je uh, Jeremiah in Jeremiah chapter 1, say, don't worry about these people. I have ordained you as a prophet to the nations. I have empowered you. Don't be afraid. All you need to do is prepare yourself because I'm going to use you mightily. Many of us, we don't want to do our part. And we are blaming God. We need to do our part. And our part that God is saying to us tonight to sanctify ourselves. To set ourselves apart. For the glory of God. To wait upon the Lord. Many of us, we work with Gentiles. We just work with anybody. No, we can't work with anybody. We can't do what everybody is doing. Somebody says, show me your friend. And I can predict your future. You can't work with anybody. You must only walk with godly friends. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's read Psalm 1. Psalm 1. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. So for us to be blessed, we must walk with godly friends. Nor stand in the path of sinners. Nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law, he meditates day and night. You remember Joshua 1.8. That's what God told Joshua. If you can meditate upon this word, which is the secret of success, you will, you will break through. You will be successful. Nothing will be able to stop you. Did you know that? Let me tell you something. Moses, according to the word of God, did not even finish his ministry. There are lands to be captured. But when it comes to Joshua, if you read towards the end of his ministry, I believe Joshua chapter 24, he said, God is faithful. He fulfilled every promises. Let me see if I can lay my hand on it. That he has done. Why? Because Joshua held on to the promise of God, the word of God, which nothing is able to withstand. Let's finish Psalm 1 that we are reading. Verse 3. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither. And whatever it does shall prosper. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Whatever we lay our hand upon from now on shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's read Joshua 24. Hallelujah. And we are going to pray. Joshua 24. 
Amen. Amen. If you can find it, please read. Yeah, I find it. Joshua 21. I beg your pardon. Towards the end of his ministry, Joshua 21, verse 45. He said, not a word. Can you see? Word. If you are going to be successful in your Christian journey, you have to place high value on the word of God. Many of us will pray with fast. Don't get me wrong. Prayer, in fact, prayer is very important. Fasting, very powerful. But without the word of God, it's not good enough. The word. He says in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And God was the word. He said in need, there was nothing that was made that was made. That grammar there is too big. John 1, 5. Everything that was made came through the word of God. The word. So we must put high value on the word of God. He said, not a word fail of every good thing which the Lord had spoken to the house of Israel. All came to pass. All came to pass. If this book of the Lord shall not depart from your mouth, in your house, in your, in your assembly, in everything you do, you will prosper. Nothing will be able to stop you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this is the word of God for us this evening. It's time to set ourselves apart in devotion. Last month, we just finished our series in Bible study, the power of devotion. And that's meaning of sanctification. When you devote your time, your energy, everything about you, just to seek the face of God. You want to get new revelation. You want to get new strategy. You want to know more about God. That's what Joshua did. As I was studying that chapter, it just came to my mind. Joshua could have just said, oh, you know, I know why, where Moses kept the rod. In fact, Moses was done that, that lay hand on me anyway. So I know where he kept the rod. I would just stretch the, the rod and Jordan will part. No. He said, no. I will go and seek the face of God. And he did for three days. And God said, this is what I want. Tell the people to set themselves apart. Hallelujah. Impurity. And our expectation shall come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say Amen. after me, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you for the set time of wonders. Thank you for the set time of wonders. Help me to set myself apart for you. Help me to set myself apart for you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's turn that to prayer. First of all, give God praise. Thank him. For this our set time to see the wonders of God, to see the goodness of God, to see the glory of God. Praise Him, praise Him. I appreciate myself. Lord, thank you for this my set time to see your glory, to see your wonder, and help me to set myself apart for your glory. Help me, help me, help our ministry, help our men, help every one of us to set ourselves apart for your glory, to hear you, to know more. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we give you praise for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. And so it shall be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I declare in the name of Jesus as we are crossing to the season of possibilities, season of faithfulness, season of signs and wonder, you will not miss your time in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. None of us will miss our set time in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Grace to wait upon the Lord is being released upon us today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, us, he will empower us in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. His hand Amen. will always be upon us for good in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus Christ. It shall be well with you. It shall be well with your family. It shall be Amen. well with your spirit. So I'm going in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 From sin. sin will not dominate us. Sin will Amen. not rule over us. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we thank you for tonight. Thank you for your word. May your name forever be praised. 
Amen. Jesus. Amen. Mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Been blessed tonight. Put your hand together for Jesus. Hallelujah. It's a short word, but please, I want you to hold on to the word of God. Sanctify yourself. And you and I will see the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Don't let Amen. us forget our Sunday service on Sunday. Uh, family worship service at 10 a.m. Um, workers, don't forget our prayer meeting starts at half nine. Church is open from nine or 9.15. So let's come on time. Let's tell our friends about Jesus. It's not about the church. It's about Jesus. If they are, if you are going to church, glory be to God. If they are on church, you don't have any church, or if they are here to give their life to Jesus, please try and speak to them. Give them the flyer and pray on their behalf. And God will touch their hearts in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God Amen. bless you all. And have a wonderful evening in Jesus' name. Can we share the grace in fellowship together? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Say to yourself, surely, surely goodness shall follow me all the days, all the days of my life. life. Now we join in the house of the Lord forever, forever and ever. And ever. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 Amen.